arrested. West Nile virus has been detected in northern Colorado for the first time this summer. With so much attention on the coronavirus, it's easy to forget about the other one that's impacted our state for years. The state health department started tracking cases back in 2003. Since then, nearly 5,700 people have contracted West Nile. More than 1,000 have needed hospitalization. And at least 146 Coloradans have died from West Nile during those years. Our Dylan Thomas on the story in Fort Collins tonight. Dylan, we are seeing fewer cases in recent years, and the city is wanting to do that, or I wanted to spray the mosquitoes to keep it that way. Jim, northern Colorado is actually prime breeding area for West Nile virus. Believe it or not, it's actually the birds which are one of their greatest concerns. As they fly around the region, the mosquitoes bite them in the trees. They go down to the water, lay their larvae, and it's just a snowballing effect after that. Larimer and Weld counties have confirmed they have multiple tests confirming the virus is within the mosquito population, and it's growing concerning, specifically right here in southeastern Fort Collins. West Nile virus isn't new to Colorado. West Nile virus is, is in our region every year. But its rapid spread this year is of concern. The infection rate is drastically increasing right now. The community should always have concern. Of Fort Collins' 53 mosquito traps, just two had cases of West Nile two weeks ago. This week, we had 11 of our 53 traps test positive. Most of which are in the southeast corner of the city, which is why Thursday night, that region saw fogging trucks spraying the community. As you can see that coming through your neighborhood, you can go inside, close windows. About an hour or so after the trucks have passed, that application has settled and you're free to open windows. Fort Collins' natural area supervisor, Matt Parker, said one night of spraying should kill about 50% of infected mosquitoes, which helps more than just Fort Collins. Mosquitoes can, can fly great distances. They can fly uh, multiple miles a night. Spraying is necessary until summer nights cool off. I'm really gonna start looking for 50 degree overnight lows. That's the temperature that really slows down their biological reproduction cycle. Experts say the fo by following the four Ds, you can really prevent getting West Nile virus. One of them is deter by using spray like this and make sure that you're lathered up. Also, avoid outdoor activities around dusk and dawn. Dump out buckets of water you may have in your different types of backyard areas. And also make sure to dress in long sleeves and pants as much as possible. For those here in Fort Collins, if you want to know where those trucks are driving around spraying, simply visit cbsdenver.com and we have provided a link to a live interactive tracking map. Reporting live in Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Sensitive election